Hi, this is Debbie with Deanne's Designs. I'm on a room. Come on here today and talk to you about my giveaway. Um, this will be for my when I reach 300 subbies, which the last I check, I should have about six more to go. And um, I wanted to celebrate it. So I thought that I would come on here and show you what I was willing to give out to the lucky winner. If you will sub to my channel, like my video, um, and then I need you to, in comment section, to tell me what you would prefer to have as the next video sessions. So, if it's like shabby chic, or if it's grunge, or if it's, uh, you know, something journals, or is it materials, or you know exactly what you would prefer to see on a video then perhaps I could take that in consideration and try to work with you on that so anyway you just you sub you like you leave a comment thanks now this is what I've been working on and thought it would be okay to give out um, it's a 300 subby giveaway so here we are I get this on here, this is going to be, it's, it's just a little white bag that I've decorated. We've got a little mason jar on here with some florals. And mason jar says live life in full bloom. So we have blooming flowers. We're going to have a butterfly and a little sari silk. We're going to have a little tidbits of, you know, crochet work. And a coffee dyed cheesecloth. A little ball pin to hold a heart with button and, and an old, this one here is an old vintage uh, charm. Another little butterfly trim on the bag. And uh, inside this bag, and, and this is really kind of a goodie supply. I don't really make you anything. Um, these are some of my papers that I like to use. This, this one here is just an old receipt area that I've printed and cut out. These are going to be also like little blooms, um, garden, roses, those things. That will be inside of here. And then I have a little small little goodie bag that we take the little leaf onto as a little brown. That was very pretty firm like paper envelope and side of here we're going to have a bit of a oh some little papers that have been cut out to look like little file folder tabs um Doreen Rook actually did the cutting on these I did not do that and then we have um these little leaf branches that I had won and and I, I've never used them and thought well they'd be perfect on some of these objects you know that you guys like to make so anyway install those in there and um and then we just have just some odds and ends a little hanger a little ball pins uh, that you might find useful a little gold trim a little uh, metal it's like a hibiscus wood butterfly little metal key some little wood shapes that they come in kind of nice to have once in a while when you're looking to just for something a little extra special I suppose put those back in so I don't lose anything so that's what's in the white bag Let's aside. and then we're going to have this is the material and a little trim um, I've got a little bead work up here now you can remove this it's, it's on with a just one of those little dots that uh, and then I glued it to the dot so you can remove that and use it too uh, we have a little floral here just to kind of give it a little oomph and and a little tilde stick pin a little tilde hard on it um, we're going to have a few trims, a little doily, 
but mainly you're going to have some nice materials to this one here is like satin it's so soft and so pretty i love the colors it's like a green pink and cream color it's very beautiful these are fun to use especially if you're journaling it's great to use this is more of a thicker type of material um very pretty this this material here i've got two of those in there but they're really just a nice they've got like a sheen that goes on them so they're they'd be super great i thought just to strip down and ruffle you know to put on things too i thought that'd be fun this one here i would strip down and just use it for like bows and accessories on my products and then we have some just some little lace and stuff don't really want to take it apart because it's not fun to put back together again in a meaningful way so yeah you can see there we got a little trim and then another little pink strip of material with pressed floral on it too so that's what's going to be in that little pile we set it aside and then this one here is just a little folder it's going to have some little incidentals i suppose in here they're you've got little sticky type diamantes but they're really kind of a pinkish color in here and then we're going to have some this is a, a little uh, file folder that i just kind of glued the sides up on it and then we ended up with some little ticket type of things in here that you can you know you know, you, you know how you use these if you do journals at all you'll know what to do with them they're printed on both sides so there i thought that would be kind of fun you can see this little file folder and I'll put that back in this way and i've made these to where they should be fairly easy like this section should be easy to just pop off of here and you could use that you know with something you're doing i'm going to have a little background on on this it's a little cheesecloth to it and some little decorations there, little floral, little gold diamantes, the coffee stained lace. So just little threads here that I threw in. Just like, oh, that really matched it kind of pretty. And I, but I like them. I just like a flow like that, I guess. This is a clip, a potato chip clip that I've worked on. And um, it's going to have a magnet on the back of it. So it says, with all my heart. And then it's just, it's just got some little trims and roses and just little things that make it nice, I guess. I'm going to set that aside. That's what's locking this in place. The front of this has a very pretty blue boutique of flores on the front. And we've got it aged around the edges. And then you can open this up. And inside is just some little beads. This is going to be a little um, heart trim that I've dotted it here with glue. And then I dotted it over here with glue. And it's just to try and help settle this to stay in one place. This is on a, um, I better keep it in one place, but one in one place. This has got some um, they're, they're really pretty trims on this one here. Let me see if I can get some of those off. You can see them anyway. This will be a little white trim. You can copy dye these. The, this is the same one here. And um, I like them white, but there may be a point where I want to do a vintage shabby, and I would copy dye those. These are little doilies. It's been avocado dyed, and this one here just left white on here. So I will kind of put that back in this place. Um, uh, this is a little seam binding that I've put into here to wrap it up in. And it's, it's uh, almond color also. Okay. And then there's just several white doilies, different sizes. I think there's one that's heart, and then the rest of it's just pretty much circles. Um, I don't know how many are on two, 
three, four, five, six of them in the center here. And I've got small threads where I've sewn it in right here, just, just a real dot, just one dot of thread is what you got. And so you can snip that, take them out and use them. And that shouldn't be a problem. I am I tried to brace it down with these hearts. That's why these hearts are across here. Um, then inside of here, you also will have a couple of, of these brown envelopes and two brown bags. Again, some more appliques that you can use. And they are clipped on here. So, then you'd be able to decorate this also the envelope however you wish to do it too if you want it to um so I'm gonna clip this back on to here get it all in there there we go and that's what the giveaway will look like back out. so i hope that you would uh, want to join me in this and um um, I'm going to be, like I said, I'm, I'm waiting until, I'm going to wait till like the 15th of March to try to get you know, all of all of everybody's entry in that, that would like to try and enter and win this product here. And, and please let me know what you would like to see on the channel and, you know, what you think would be of interest. So. And maybe you just like the channel way it is. Um, just whatever you think. So I will let this be. And hopefully you've you've been able to see it all pretty good. I hope. It's good to get it all in focus sometimes. But uh, yeah. Anyway, go ahead and uh, like. And if you haven't said, go ahead and subscribe. And then leave your comment on what you would prefer to maybe see on a channel so if you could i would appreciate it and i will talk to you guys later on thank you for watching bye now